As far as signals go, signaling can be one of the most important things uh, that you do. Uh, not a lot of thought gets put into your, your signal kit. If your goal is to get rescued, then having a way to signal your rescuers and make yourself easily found is going to be huge. Wow. There are basically three categories that you need to think about for your signals. So the three categories are universal signals, day signals, and night signals. Another key aspect of your signal kit is it needs to be easily accessible. You need to be able to reach in and grab it at a moment's notice. You never know when you're going to hear you know, a rescue air aircraft or uh, hear people nearby in the area. So it needs to be really easy to get to. Uh, for universal signals, I use a whistle because I can use that day or night and I've got that attached on the outside where I can get to it quick. And with your universal signal, you need to be able to find it day or night. It needs to be able to be heard day or night. I like to use the P-less design on the whistle and I like this jet screen because I can use it while it's wet as well. And it's nice and loud and three blasts on a whistle is a universal distress call. And a couple of great daytime signals. I carry some of this orange duct tape because I can use it to repair gear, but I can also use it as a visual daytime signal. And because it's sticky, I can stick this along the trail if I need to find my way back to a water source or another staple in any survival kit is a good signal mirror. These things can be seen from miles away. And basically all you have to do is point your fingers and get the sun reflecting on that and then point that towards whatever you're trying to signal. Now I normally keep this, uh, I call it a three bandana kit. I normally keep this in my water kit because it's extremely useful as a three stage filter, but it also makes a really good daytime visual signal. So like I said, it's a three bandana system. So I've got an orange, I've got a red, and I've got a blue. And the reason I choose three different colors rather than one color is because I want numerous colors that contrast against a variety of backgrounds. So this is a really high visibility panel. Uh, this orange can be seen against a variety of backgrounds. Uh, and then I went ahead and put the same colored paracord through there. You could use any paracord, but this just adds to the visibility. And like I said, I ran those through some grommets um, so that placing these signals out is a lot easier because I could tie it directly to a tree with this. And the red panel has grommets, and these grommets are set up for a water filtration kit, but it'll also work for the signaling side. Uh, but I've also got red reflective paracord in there. So, so. Even if I put this signal up as a passive signal, even at night if rescuers are going by flashlight or headlamp or spotlight and they're trying to find me, then there's a good chance that that light's going to reflect off that reflective paracord, and it's going to draw their attention to my signal. And what I like about this red bandana is it also has some first aid information on it. So a lot of different uses out of the bandanas. Then the blue is set up exactly the same way. Grommets and then I've got blue reflect reflective paracord in there. And then the blue actually has some reference material as far as knots go. So that's the blue panel. And then I put a couple more pieces of reflective paracord in there so that I can string up between trees and I can set out a really good uh, three panel visual display. So what I want to do is I want to find a couple of trees and I'm basically going to string a ridge line up and I'm using this brightly colored reflective paracord so that even at night uh, somebody would be able to see it. So I want to put this up as high as I can because I want to get it up above the underbrush so that it can be seen from as far away as possible. Then it doesn't necessarily matter which order you put it in. We can string these right up. Tie off the other side, make sure it's nice and high. And there I've got a three panel system that's now a passive signal that contrasts against a variety of colors. This is something that I would probably put up somewhere close to where my bed down location was, my shelter location. I could tie off the bottom, but I don't really want to waste the, the cordage. And I also want these things to kind of move 
in the breeze because the movement is something else that draws attention. So I want to leave those just kind of hanging like they are right now. But that is a three bandana system used as a, uh, a daytime passive signal. And then as far as night signals, I'll carry a headlamp and that headlamp needs to have a strobe function. And because this is one of the only things that I carry that actually uses batteries, I carry extra batteries with that. So if I, in the case that I need it, I can make sure that I've got fresh batteries to signal with.